Happy Thursday, January the 27th, and thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Today we celebrate John Chrysostom, some pronounce it Chrysostom, uh, Bishop of Constantinople, who died in 407. A reading from Isaiah. I will give you as a light to the nation that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. <clears throat> so this morning, let us begin with the Jubilate. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first appointed psalm, our only appointed psalm this morning, is Psalm 50, Deus Decorum, together. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and not keep silent. Before him there is a consuming flame, and round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds and their thousands upon the hill. I know every bird in the sky and the creatures of the field are in my sight. If I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall honor me. But to the wicked God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips, since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back? When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast your, in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You're always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept still, and you thought that I am like you? I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God, lest I rend you and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. But to those who keep in my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This morning, our first reading comes from the 16th chapter of Genesis, verse 15, through the 17th chapter, verse 14, as we continue with the story of Hagar, Ishmael, Abram, and Sarai. Now Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram named his son, whom Hagar bore, Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. And when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will make you exceedingly numerous. 
Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan, for a perpetual holding, and I will be their God. God said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. And this is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you will be circumcised. You shall circumcise when he is eight days old. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you throughout your generations circumcise every young male, including the servant born in your house and the one bought with your money from any foreigner who is not your offspring. Both the servant born in your house and the one bought with your money must be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh and an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Here ends the reading. Contumus Domino, the Song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the 10th chapter of Hebrews, verses 1 through 10. Now, since the law has only a shadow of the good things to come and not the true form of these realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered year after year, make perfect those who approach. Otherwise, would they not have ceased being offered, since the worshipers, cleansed once for all, would no longer have any consciousness of sin? But in these sacrifices, there is a reminder of sin year after year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings, you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, See, God, I have come to do your will, O God. In the scroll of the book, it is written of me. When he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, see, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Here ends the reading. Gloria in excelsis is our next canticle. Glory to God. Together. 
Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy of Spirit and the glory of God the Father, Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage is A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you gave your servant John Chrysostom grace eloquently to proclaim your righteousness in the great congregation and fearlessly to bear reproach for the honor of your name. Mercifully grant to all bishops and pastors such excellence in preaching and faithfulness in ministering your word that your people may be partakers with them of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I give you as a light to the nations so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and to proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now a collect for guidance. It's Thursday and we're heading into the weekend. Help us to make the right decisions. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us pray for the mission of the church. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pause here to bring our own needs, intentions, requests, our love before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, his forgiveness, his guidance, and again, his love. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Now a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us again this morning. We invite you to join us every morning from Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. as we continue the daily office here at Calvary Episcopal Church in beautiful Uptown Wadesboro, North Carolina. We hope that you have a good day. Remain cautious, remain vigilant, remain safe, and remember, please, leave this world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. Join us again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Friday. Kick off your weekend the right way as we celebrate the life and legacy of Thomas Aquinas, friar and theologian. And everybody's heard about St. Thomas. Have a great day, and we'll see you then.